angle side angle ASA congruence and we're going to construct triangles using ASA. This is 4.6a. There's nine previous videos to this chapter and they're in the geometry playlist in the description. An included side is the common side of two consecutive angles in a polygon. Well, in the last couple of videos we talked about an included angle. Now this is an included side between two angles. And the angle side angle postulate uses the idea of an included side. So we have an angle, then a side, then an angle. And segment AB is the included side of angle A and angle B. It's named by the vertices of the two angles. So here's our angle side angle congruence postulate. If two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to two angles and the included side of another triangle, well, then the triangles are congruent. We have this hypothesis. We've got two triangles and we can see D is congruent to B and A is congruent to F. See that? We can also see segment DF is congruent to AB. That means our conclusion is that triangle FDE is congruent to triangle ABC. And SSS, SAS, and ASA, so that would be side, 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 angle, side, and angle, side, angle, are usually presented as postulates in high school textbooks, but any one of them can be chosen as a postulate and used to prove the other two as theorems. Here's our example. We've got organizers of a race are planning the course with water stations at A, B, and C. So does this table give enough information to determine the location of the water stations? We need to understand the problem. So let's take a look at this table. We've got bearings, which are directions and distance. And we've got from A to B is north 55 degrees east with a distance of 7.6 kilometers and B to C is north 26 degrees west, and C to A is south 20 degrees west. And these are blank here. So remember, on a compass, north is up, south is down, and it spells we as it goes across. All right, so we know that's west and that's E because it has to spell we. So we make a plan. We draw a diagram of the race course using vertical lines. I use these green vertical lines to show north-south directions. And we'll use these parallel lines as alternate interior angles to help us find the angle measures of triangle ABC. So by using these parallel lines, we can have alternate interior angles and think of one as a transversal, right? So for solving it, we draw segment AB. It tells us that from A to B is north 55 degrees east, so it's going to go northeast. It's going to go this direction, see? But just a little bit. It's going up a little bit in northeast. What we can do is on this third green line, this third parallel line, we can make a 55 degree angle right here with our protractor, okay? Once we make that 55 degree angle, we can extend that segment to the first parallel line. Now we have AB. And we can draw segment AC. Now that we know where A is, we know AC, it says south 20 degrees west. So that's from C to A. If we want to go A to C, we got to flip this around and say north 20 degrees east, okay? because we're going in the opposite direction. The opposite of south is north and the opposite of west is east. All right. So we're going to go northeast this direction again and make a 20 degree angle using this green line as the bottom of the angle. Let me turn the camera and we've got a 20 degree angle right here. And we can extend this segment all the way up to the middle parallel line. Now we've got AC and we've got AB. And because we know where C is on this middle line, we could just draw a segment to connect it to B, couldn't we? So the measure of angle CAB is equal to 55 degrees minus 20 degrees because we're thinking of AB as a transversal, okay? Think of it as cutting these two parallel lines. Ignore the middle one. If this is a transversal, then this angle and this angle are alternate interior angles. And 
If we know this is 55 degrees, then this must equal 55 degrees. But we've only got a 20 here. We need to know what that is. So we do the 55 degrees minus 20 equals 35 degrees. So now we know what that is 35 degrees. On this side, once we connected C to B, it says from B to C is 26 degrees. So that's the 26 degrees. And if we've got 55 degrees and 26 degrees, this whole thing should total 180 degrees. So we do 180 degrees minus the 26 degrees added to the 55 degrees. And we get 99 degrees. So now we know that inside here, this interior angle for our triangle right here is 99 degrees. And we know the measures of angle CAB. That's the 35 degrees. And angle CBA, that's the 99 degrees and the length of the included side AB, because we've got 7.6 kilometers. See, 7.6. So therefore, by ASA, angle side angle, we have an angle, a side, and an angle. We have a unique triangle, ABC. One and only one triangle can be made by using the information in the table. So the table does give enough information to figure out the location of all the water stations. And angles are important in navigation when directions are given as bearings, when they're given like this, okay? And we can determine if we can use ASA, angle side angle, to prove triangle UVX is congruent to triangle WVX. So let's take a look at our diagram here. We can see that there's a line coming down the middle, right? That this triangle shares with that triangle. We can also see that that angle is congruent to that one, and we see that's 90 degrees. Well, if that's 90 degrees and this is perpendicular, then that's gotta be 90 degrees, right? So, we can mark the given information on the diagram before starting a proof, and we can put S for side or A for angle next to the step to show what's going on. So we know that's an angle that's congruent, that's an angle that's congruent, and we know that side so we have angle, side, angle. So we know that's what is going on, right? So we've got angle UXV, UXV, this little one up here, is congruent to WXV, WXV, this little one over here. And that's given. It's given in the drawing. And since angle WVX is a right angle that forms a linear pair with angle UVX, this one right here, we know that these two are congruent. Angle WVX is congruent to angle UVX. They're both right angles. And also VX, this one in the center here, the center segment, is congruent to VX. And what they're saying is the line VX that is being used as a side for this triangle is congruent to the line VX being used for the side of that triangle, okay? That's by the reflexive property. Therefore, triangle UVX is congruent to triangle WVX by angle side angle, ASA, okay? Now we can construct congruent triangles by using ASA. We did a little bit of this before. So we use a straight edge to draw a segment of any length we want and two different angle measures. And that's what I did. And we construct segment CD congruent to this given blue segment with our compass and an arc. So what I did was I took the measure of this blue one and I opened the compass up to that. Then I took the point and I created point C here and I made an arc. So now I know that's the length of this blue one from C to D. So I made segment CD and I labeled it. Now that we've got this, we need to construct angle C over here congruent to one of the angles. So I'm going to do this little one here. So I moved it down here so you can see. The first thing I do is on the little angle, I squeeze this back shut a little bit because it's so small. I put it here and I make an arc on the original. Then I put it here and make an arc on our ray that we made. Then I take the compass and I squeeze it to the distance of these right here, between here and here, where we made the arc, the intersections. And then I come over here and I put the point here and I make an arc here. Now all I have to do is take a straight edge from C through that intersection and I've made that angle. Okay? 
Now we need to make this angle, and I moved it here. We do the exact same thing we did here. We take our compass and we make an arc on the original. Then we go to D, that's our, where our other angle is going to be, and we make that arc. See? Right like that. Then we take our compass and we measure between those two intersections and we go to this line down here at this intersection and we make a little arc. Then from D through that intersection, we make our ray and we can label that E. And now we've constructed a congruent triangle to my two angles and the side here, and that's angle, side, angle. See? All right? Our next lesson is angle, angle, side congruence. That's going to be 4.6b. So hit the like button if this was helpful at all. And keep trying, keep going, and I'll see you next time. Bye.